you know, it's been growing much faster than I thought. It's something that really has to be experienced to believe. The most perfect canvas you can ever imagine. I guess people just get addicted to it. I did not expect this, this is just something else. This is going to be big. Both me and Eric worked as skippers in uh, Greece and Croatia. We took Navigara Yachting, which is a company we work with in the beginning, and still is the biggest or one of the most important partners we have. Uh, we took their first boat down to Greece, like a couple of years before we started Yacht Week. And from like the two week experience, you create a bond with someone that lasts uh, the whole life. We booked 10 yachts and thought, okay, let's bring 100 friends. And then eventually we had 10 yachts booked, we booked another five. And that relatively small group quickly became a large group. So instead of being 100, it was like 250 people. Let's say it used to be more anarchy and madness. And it was a great atmosphere. So then we got requested to do it one more time. And then twice as many people showed up and then we decided to make it into a business. I was quite skeptical, <laughs> but um, with William's and Eric's enormous visionary way of looking at it and really understanding the market and understand, understanding the possibilities of it, I think, helped us to grow it. We moved to London because of two reasons. One, we wanted Yacht Week to become international and reach out to international markets. And the second reason was that I needed a place to stay because I got sort of thrown out of university. <laughs> and I had a friend in London, Jacob, with a spare bed. So the first office was uh, a sofa in South Kensington. The life went from a Swede eating meatballs in a Swedish city to having friends all over the world and you get to understand and know other cultures. Now we are like 30 people in the office, but I think a year ago or so we were 20 from like 13 countries or something. Yeah, that's pretty astounding. We got so much feedback saying it's amazing. Everybody loved it. So many people came to us like, wow, this is amazing. We want to do it more. We want to do, we want to try other places. Everything is online social. We kind of forgot a little bit how it is to hang out. And suddenly you have this concept where you bring all these people together. It's, and it's nothing about online socializing. It's all about being there and present in the moment. The moment I realized that Jotwik was growing fast was probably the first year when we had planned to do three weeks in total, or maybe four. I kind of, I was set, I had all the skippers ready that I was supposed to do. And then William calls me, we're doing another week, can you get a skipper? But since then it's just been growing, growing, growing. We need more skippers all the time. What do the skippers add to the Jotwik? I mean, it's the skippers, from my point of view, are the Yacht Week in a way. I mean, a lot of people think that, that skippering is the best job in the world and I 100% support that, but it's also one of the hardest jobs. You are the Dr. Phil, the Oprah, the mum, the dad, the little brother, you are everything to these crews and finding the person that can fit all those roles while still be professional and their skill as a sailor and as a skipper, is, it's, it's hard. So it's a, it's a year long battle every year to find the right guys. Well, Yacht Week really got big after the 2009 trailer. Well, it grew 110%. And after that, like, I think Yacht Week really puts in a lot of effort to getting amazing production companies and amazing videographers and photographers to come out and cover the events because everyone who goes on Yacht Week is so connected in social media um, that they share their experiences through social media, like by sharing the Yacht Week photos, by sharing the Yacht Week videos.
I've never had to fight to be creative and I think that you don't find that in many companies. They've always pushed a lot for the creative aspect and let's do film and let's do photos and like that's the way we kind of sell ourselves and that's what makes us different. That's what I love about it. People will tell me that uh, the Yacht Week is a travel agency. I will say, no, it's not. It's, it's more like a lifestyle. It's something that, you, that grows into you and that, that needs to develop. And the more you do it, the more like, you, be, you become a part of it. The more you want to reconnect with the people you've met there. It was 2013 that we first said that we're going to do the ski week. We launched a trailer, I got a car for free from Volvo and we drove around in the Alps for a month, uh, just scouting resorts, skiing, figuring out where, what was the best place to start. And then the year after, Ski Week was on in Novotown. And to a great start, we launched off with uh, 400 people, so a lot in 45 minutes. I think all of us, in the beginning, we are adventurers and we, we want to find new places, we want to see new locations. In terms of events, the Ski Week and the Yacht Week are, are two of the, the trademark events. The same energy, the same vibe, same people, it's just one year in a bikini and one year in a beanie, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And it happened to be mountains instead of ocean, but other than that, we're doing the same thing and so far it's working very, very good. One thing that really stands out when I think about Yacht Week is that we often talk about how we never dread Monday. Uh, Monday is never a thing that's like, oh damn, like the weekend's over, gonna have to go back into the office, typical nine to five. We all enjoy what we do. Um, and we all enjoy like creating something unique. It's amazing. Like you, you hang out on the weekends, you still stay professional in the office, you have a lot of fun. You work hard, you play hard, and, and that's the, the greatest thing about it. What's important to keep is the whole community aspect, and I think that's what makes the Yacht Week unique and special. My favorite Yacht Week events have been with the Yacht Week community where no one's been before, like for example this year Turkey. Going with a group of friends, to everyone to a new place that no one's done before, you don't know what to expect, that's the best thing. Broadly speaking, we want to create more experiences in different contexts for the same people. The magic recipe is to bring like-minded people together and organize social events for them and have a platform where they can interact. Well, it's definitely not Eric Bjorklund. That's the only thing I'm very sure about. I have to give one person. Uh, to... <laughs> Johan thinks he's the best skipper. It's quite, it's quite fair to say uh, that I'm definitely the best skipper around here. But two years ago, I won the biggest regatta in Sweden. Obviously, I'm the best skipper in the world. Everyone knows that. I mean, we've got the best hostess of the Yacht Week in Eric over here. I, mean, I started my career as a hostess, so I've seen, you know, like, uh, I've seen the whole spectrum of uh, hospitality. Have you ever made out with a girl? Like, can these two? Can these? Can these two wait downstairs? Do you have like a tan filter that you can give me? Oh, no, oh, Eric! Eric. Oh, that was funny. What I've gained from the Yacht Week and the experiences that I've had are sort of life, life changing. And uh, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> What's the most astounding fact about your tweet? <laughs> <laughs> you really want to have this from here. <laughs> Can you come and get me out? <laughs> Can you just do one little rap now? Just one little rap. Is Leo a skipper? Yes, he is okay. When he doesn't play. No. Is William. Can William sail? Can William sail? Yeah, at the times when he doesn't fail. And what about Johan, the little lad? Sometimes he drives us all mad. But now <laughs> the ship and helm is taken over by an Italian dude. And no mean to be rude. His name is Enrico. He's not that long. 
Um, oh shit, <laughs> the rap disappeared. I think I need to practice a little bit. Mm -hmm.